goes with people. You get in some good conversations. You get some confirmation or some encouragement because you stuck around at the end of the fellowship. Yeah. You got you got a pat on the back. Somebody say, I appreciate what y'all are doing over there. You're really looking out for the man of God. Whatever it is, good stuff comes sometimes just a little bit later. Yeah. You might get that extra plate, uh, Sister Deborah. Yeah. That pie that somebody forgot to put out on the table. My favorite apple pie. Huh? The best wine there is. Not talking about the wine that we drink, but I'm talking about joy unspeakable yeah. joy. and full of glory. Yeah. Huh? You get encouragement, and sometimes that's better than the food itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Listen, Jesus left so much wine, huh, that they could have sold the rest for extra money and launched that marriage uh, debt free. Uh, debt free, amen. How many want to be debt free yeah. in marriage? I mean, what if what if both of y'all would have been married and neither one of y'all had credit card, neither one of y'all had student loan, neither one of y'all had car notes. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, preach Come on, man. That's good, man. He always leaves extra and some for everybody else. Uh -huh. Remember the loaves when he fed the 4,000 and how many baskets he took up. Remember uh, how many baskets he took up after he fed the 5,000. That's right. He said, don't forget that one. Don't forget 180 gallons of wine. Yes, sir. That's what he did. That's the miracle. It's a sign of God's in abundance. But my God shall supply oh. all of your oh. needs oh. according to his riches and glory, oh. which is in Christ Jesus. I believe if they had more water pots, yeah. they would have been filled up with more yeah. wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wine of this joy and fellowship that we have here will eventually turn into a new wine in the kingdom to come. Yeah. All right. And we will partake of the great wedding feast one day, yeah. and sin will have no more power. Jesus will make it all worth it, worth doing when he tells you to do what needs to be done. Yeah, It'll be right. worth it. It'll be worth it. All of your inconvenience, all of your hurts, all of your suffering will fail in comparison to the glory that will be revealed in us. We're being changed, church. One day we're going to be changed in a moment and a twinkling of an eye. But in the meantime, it's a process. Yeah. We are the water pots that are being changed into wine pots. Ah, all right. The servants, I like this part, because the servants knew ahead of time what was going on. Uh -huh. So there ain't no shame in being behind the scenes. Ah. Ain't no shame in being behind the scenes, amen? You ain't always got to be out here in everybody's face. Right. Behind the pulpit, right. huh, trying to display your gifts. Oh, yeah. The servants knew about his power and his glory and the giving uh, before the governor of the feast knew about it. All right. All right. Jesus looks out for the little man. I like this as a He looks out for the common people. Right. It's all right to be in the back room or behind the scenes because you can see the glory from a different perspective. Yeah, yeah. Before anybody with a title even knew, yeah, no one was coming. Yeah, right. You the prophet, you ain't see that one coming. Yeah, right. You ain't see that blessing coming. <laughs> before they just wanted to give the accolades to the host, they yeah. already knew who had did the real work. Huh? While, while, while the governor was patting the host on the back, hey man, you sure brought out some good wine. You sure preached today. The people in the back, Pastor, they already knew who did the work. Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. You gotta know that God is doing the work yes. behind the scenes, amen? He's doing the work behind the scenes, amen? That means he's working on you. That's what I'm talking about. And when he's working on you on the inside, he's gonna show up eventually. On the outside. He says to draw it out and give it to the governor. That's my last one, y'all. Give it. When we draw out what God has deposited in us, I mean, the stuff that's really deep down on the inside of us, then we are able to give it to somebody else and bring them joy. That's real ministry. When we can bring them hope, that's real ministry. When, that, when it's real to you on the inside, and you know how to draw it up and draw it and give it out. That's, right. that's ministry. Because people will expect the worst from you. Why? Because that's what they got in life. A lot of people feel like life is giving them a bad hand of cards. Huh? And so they don't expect much from you. But what we need to do is to give them the best. Amen? Yeah. Give them something more, something of substance that they can take with them 
them something of spirit that is tangible to them that will lift them up. Amen. Amen. When you not only preach the word but live it out in front of people, that's when you draw out and you are able to give them Christ. Thank God that some people are seeing Christ in you because they don't want you. Yeah. Huh? Nope. Hey, they, I'm dealing with stuff on my job all the time. They don't want me. No, they don't. They punish me, boy. They punish me this week. They punish me this week. Give them the change that's in you. I would like to give them the change that's in me, Pastor. That's what I would like to do here. Yeah. But sometimes, boy, they don't want the change in me. They want the old man in me. They want me to raise up on them. Show them where I'm from. I'm from downtown New York. That's where I'm from. I'm from Aqua Vista, 6th oh, hey, Street, oh, the hey, Crab Factory. Hey, That's where hey, I'm from. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Give them the change. Yeah. Thanks for being When you have been filled to the brim, yeah. give them of the overflow. Amen? That's good. Perfected worship is how holiness is seen. That's how holiness is seen. What is that? It's becoming one with God. Yeah. Huh? That's being holy, being holy as I am holy. That's right. Being one with him in his will, in right. his heart. Holiness is about your inner heart more than your outer will. All right. It's when your will is now a desire for his will and his will alone to be done. Yeah. That's perfected worship. Yeah. We're all being changed from glory to glory as by the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Growing up into a mature house with Christ as the head. Not only can we become just like him because he is in us and transforming us, but we can give like him because the Bible says the love of God has been shared in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We should be able to give and forgive before anybody else can. It should be easier for us to give and forgive and have mercy on anybody else before anybody else can. Uh, before anybody else, because we have experienced right. his mercy. Yeah, we yeah. have tasted of his goodness. Yeah. We have been shown his love, yeah. real love. Yeah. And we should be willing to give that yeah. forth to yeah. someone else. That's good. That's Timing, good. doing, drawing, and giving. Uh -huh. As I move to my clothes, uh, somebody called me and wanted to go to the movies this week, but the movies were shut down because uh -huh. of the storm. And so I watched the movie on TV. And this movie uh, that I watched this weekend shows how we are all intertwined and how we all need each other and how we are all being changed together. Mm -hmm. The movie was called Mr. Church. How many ever saw this movie? Go home and watch this movie with Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is the lead actor in this movie. It's about a, a true story of a black man who right, was right, right. cooked for a white woman who was stricken with cancer oh. right, right. and her daughter. Mm -hmm. And it's about how out of the hurts of his life that happened from a bad relationship with his father, this man was able to draw out love and hope and give it to strangers. Uh -huh. It was about how he became more than a face, but a family member. Right. And how a cook became a caretaker. It was about how people needing each other and others being there to lend more than a helping hand, but a helping life. Yeah. That's real ministry, amen? Because everything that's poured into us in this life is not going to be fine wine. All right. Some of us got some sour grapes. Oh, back back. Back. Yes. Yeah. Everything that has happened to us cannot easily be turned into wine. All right. We're dealing with some issues. Right. Huh? We all got stuff that we have not conquered yet. Yeah. Things that keep coming against us. Yeah. And so my hope is that if you are a true disciple and if you are a true believer in him, Somehow you are able to pass on the work that he's doing in you to somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Pass on something different that God is doing to those around you. Yeah. So that God can truly be glorified because there will be no wine before the time. Let him work on you. Yeah. Huh? It's a process. Yeah. Time and doing, drawing and giving. Amen. Come on, receive the pastor.
Amen.